Welcome and hello my beautiful Scorpios. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of May the 23rd to the 29th 2022. I was guided uh, to put out some of my crystals and my healing stones here. I have an entire cabinet full of them. And um, these were the ones I was guided to use. Because of the full moon and the full moon eclipse, I think a lot of people were feeling energy. And um, especially those that are sensitive, uh, empathic, psychic, and um, have have that energy and vibration within themselves and a lot of you do so i do believe that this was the right call this is the these are the cards for these are the stones rather for healing and for protection and i will leave a small little uh message about them below keep in mind there's a lot more description that can go into these stones okay you have a lot more cards than the rest do too because when i get months that show up you've got october and april i need clarification what's going to be expected in that month so you do have that addition to this reading those extra cards so let's see what we have starting off coming in behind you my beautiful Scorpios you've been given family matters so you may be dealing with family matters you may be having to step up and um, control a situation or be or guide others and mentor others uh, taking um, taking the leadership role here dealing and communicating creatively and perhaps nurturing helping and healing someone in your family coming in with that you do have the seven of swords and I want you to be careful because the Seven of Swords is making sure you don't have to look over your shoulder that you may have made a mistake, hindsight's 2020, uh, that what you're doing has integrity and you're going and you're walking that path of truth. And you are. This is also the card to me that says someone else could be deceiving you. Maybe there's something in the family. Maybe you're dealing with someone who has an inheritance or a will and there's going to be someone stepping up in the family that wants to poke their nose in. We always have those that step up for, and they think they deserve more than anyone else. So be careful. Uh, this is a card of deception. Um, you know, someone could be uh, someone could be uh, you know walking the path of, of non-integrity. Okay, they have ulterior motives. So just keep your eyes open. You're pretty uh, you're pretty good at being um, you know being able to see what's going on in the shadows, my beautiful Scorpios, because you are very empathic and you are quite psychic yourself. Tap into your intuition this this particular time. You may feel as though you have to defend yourself, okay? You may feel that you're having to compete with the energies and, and the powers around you. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. Pick your battles wisely, though. I think you're rebuilding a new foundation here. Or you could have walked away from deception. Someone around you that constantly was making you feel that you had to answer to them or you had to you had to uh, defend yourself and explain yourself constantly. I think you're moving away from that. I think, you know, this could have been someone in your family that you've cut the cords with or someone closely linked to you on an emotional level. It was on shaky ground to begin with and I think you hung in as long as you could. I do believe you're rebuilding a new foundation here. Brick by brick, it's, brick, it's taking time. But because you didn't back down, because you stand up for yourself, because you saw it for what it was, uh, you dealt with it. And I think you're rebuilding a new foundation here because of it. Coming in next, in the center position, it, you've got the month of October. So I wanted to know what's happening in the fall. Uh, you've got the barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. This could be um, that, you know, I have to tell you, I had a business uh, for years. I had salons hair salons and october was my month that i did see my my the loss the profit wasn't going up so for whatever reason it could be something as simple as that your business might be a little bit slower in october uh for whatever reasons and it could be out of your control i mean the economy works in waves eh? it's up it's down depending on it and so you could be feeling that way. You could be feeling <clears throat> right now, if you've cut the ties with someone, um, you may be thinking about that. You may be feeling a little bit um, on your own right now. Uh, in perhaps some of you, it could be love. You might have walked away or there could have been an ending of something uh, in a relationship. But I do believe that, you know, continue with your goals and move forward. Um, if you're prepared for October, um, know that it, it could be an emotion that you're feeling at that time. Now, coming in with that is the Queen of Cups, and this is all about nurturing, okay, giving and taking care of others, but also stepping up and doing what's right for you. So I think maybe in October when you're feeling these emotions, you're going to do this. You're going to nurture yourself. You're going to do what you have to do to make yourself feel better. And, and don't feel guilty about that. The universe is saying you need to do this. You need to, you need to nurture yourself. Take care of your needs. Put yourself first now. King of Swords says, um, you know, you're going to do this. I mean, this is, um, this is, 
is integrity. This is walking with truth. This is seeing uh, things in clarity. The King of Swords, he, that's who he is. He's in power. He's wise. He goes for what he wants and he stands up for his rights. And I think you're going to be doing this. Um, you could also, some of you, maybe you're having an advocate. You're having uh, someone here who's going, you're hiring. Maybe there's going to be some signing of legal documents. Uh, you know, uh, that maybe these dealings around family required uh, the signing off or the signing uh, to receive or give something. Um, I do think that, you know, you're going to see celebration come in. I think there's going to be happiness. There will be, uh, you know, um, either a marriage, an engagement, a bonding, um, you know, something that is going to be built on a firm foundation. Some of you could be relocating and moving to a new residence. And perhaps some of you are going to be uh, taking a partner and moving in with somebody on an emotional level. So this is a card that says celebrate. Celebrate a beautiful occasion. You could also, if it's not for you, Scorpio, you may be invited to a beautiful event that is you know like a wedding beautiful coming in towards you possible future energy you've been given the bat um, it says take care enemies are working against you so um for whatever it is i i'm seeing that there may be a family member or somebody linked to you uh in a legal matter in the family there could be somebody who who uh, who who wants to ride on your coattails of success and they want something from you so keep your eyes open uh, don't allow anybody to do this to you this is about tapping in and realizing that you know um, the bat has this beautiful sight at night and in the dark and this is saying make sure you're looking into the background do your research make sure you're aware of who has integrity what their uh, what their motives are are around you uh, you know as you move through this week or in the near future because April's coming in here as well as your outcome and I wanted to know what that was and that is opportunities are waiting for you to open the door so we'll get into that but um, I, I wanted to see what that meant so I do think you know you may be feeling as though you're in suspended here and you know with the five of swords too it, this is like picking your battles wisely you may win the win the war but lose the battle when we go into battle mode there are always consequences and risks we take make sure your battle is worth the fight okay um, because there's definitely going to be a parting of ways here I do see that you know you you're going to come out of this and say well why did it have to come to this yeah I won it but why do I feel this feel bad about it okay king of swords again I think you know you've got the you've got the knight of swords pardon me you had the king of swords now you have the knight of swords so there's going to be something that comes in very swiftly that is going to require you to act on it Again, um, you know, it might be about defending yourself. You've had, you've been suspended now for a while, perhaps, and you need now to act on something. And it means that you're going to go into battle mode. You're going to go into that mode where you might have to defend yourself. Sorry about that. Disregard that phone. Um, I did. Um, okay, so you know what? There could be something coming in very swiftly. Be careful. It might, again, have to do with signing of documents and correspondence that's legal and binding. Read between the lines or get counsel therein. I think, you know, you're fighting for something here that you deserve to win. Um, and, yeah, it's a shame that you're being pushed, some of you, to that point um, where you have to go into battle mode. You have to put your head down and defend what you created here. Okay, but you're, you're going to be rebuilding a new foundation here. You know, it's unfortunate, Scorpio. You know my readings are usually really positive, and I'm going to clarify these. But you do have the opportunities here in May, in the spring, where things are going to open up for you. This is going to be a new beginning for you uh, and a new direction for you to go. Now let's clarify this, Spirit. What do they need to see, know, and expect? This is a very intense and, you know, um, powerful reading here for Scorpio. Let's see what we have. So, you know what? Thus, tap into the energy of these beautiful crystals here for healing and protection. If you have any of your own, do it. Bring them out. Keep them with you close. Okay, here we go. Now, coming in with that, you know, deception card, the Seven of Swords, um, and the, you know, the, the Three of Wands, and the Family Matter here with the Tower, you've got the five of pentacles so don't be afraid to step out and seek guidance here this is internalizing things this is worry this is uh disappointment this is feeling lack and loss and we had talked about that here with the barrel card um so lean into those uh the powers that be people that you trust 
or even guidance and counselors here. Or if it's a money issue, tap into the bank uh, and the investment company. Uh, speak to your lawyer uh, about if it's a will, if it's money, whatever the case is, and you'll get the assistance you want. Because when this five shows up, fives are usually challenges, but they also have the resources to resolve that issue. And this is about you stepping out, opening those doors of opportunity where you're going to get that guidance to lead you to to uh, be able to make the, you know make the changes to rebuild a new foundation. Foundation. Coming in with the, the month of October and that feeling lack and loss in your life and in, in perhaps love, money, or your goals, but I do believe that you're going to take care of yourself here. You're going to do things by the book and do them right, and that will give you this opportunity to finally enjoy your life a bit better. You've got celebration again. Three of Cups, you had the Four of Cups. So definitely what I just said is going to come, you know, hopefully come to pass, and you're going to have a reason to celebrate. Get together with those that you care about. Um, you know, whatever the celebration is, I do believe you're going to be making it happen, and you're going to be part and party to it. So that's beautiful coming in with the bat, um, you know, taking care of those powers that be that are wanting to uh, stir the pot up and the cauldron up um, and want to work against you, I think you're going to have opportunities in the spring to look back and say, you know what, I got through this. And it was a difficult fight perhaps for you that you've had to deal with or you're going to be dealing with right now. But you know what, I think at the end of the day, you're going to have the power to come out ahead. So let's see what we have here for that spirit. You've got the death card. Yeah, it's going to be the end of hard times, okay? There's definitely going to be something ending here. It could be your relationship that you're with um, or a situation, uh, the end of what you've been fighting for, defending uh, and promoting here to come out ahead, and it's a new beginning. We get this beautiful right rose, and that means embrace a new future. Go forward. Doors of opportunity will be opening for you in this brand new beginning. Something ends. I mean, when we see the death card, it has to do with anything as simple as a as a situation, a phase in your life, a program project, uh, a contract, a relationship, whatever the case is, um, it ends. And I do believe that you're going to be moving forward in a new direction, building a new foundation and being able to celebrate the fact that you've come through this successfully. Wow, powerful reading. I don't even know how I'm going to caption this one. Well, Scorpio, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. Always, always know I send you many blessings, lots of love, and I'll see you soon.